You know what's fun? Loving a band that you really don't know how to pronounce their name. That's always a good time. I feel like war jazz with a knot to the knot cause everyone holds that spell. Hello, I'm Notes, and we have a new album from Echelin. I think that's how you pronounce their name. I've been following this band for almost 10 years and I still don't know how to pronounce their name. I'm gonna pronounce it, I always pronounce it as Echelin, so that's what it is. Eichelin, and they have a new album out called I Heard You Listening. Even though I've been a fan of this band for about 10 years or so, I've really only known their one album as the world. There are two songs on this album that I really love and I always come back to, and that's The Cheese Stands Alone and uh, the mid-piece of their letter suite. And I know they made a really big splash a couple years ago with their self-titled album, but I've never gotten around to listen to it. So maybe in a couple of weeks I'll go to it once I've finished reviewing a couple of the other albums. But at least I've picked up their latest album, I Heard You Listening. And I love this album. It is a fantastic addition to their library. The album overall is a very good breath of fresh air, especially since I've been listening to a lot of metal lately. The band is a little bit more subtle with their sound. It's a little bit more drawn back. The melodies that they have are just superb. I love the way that each of the five members are able to vocalize and sing and play with one another in their harmonies. It's a very great way of setting up the band as a whole. As well, I love the drumming in this album. It's both very complex and very sophisticated while also being drawn back, being very subdued and very quiet at times. So let's dive right into the album itself, as it starts off very beautifully with a messenger of all's right. Right from the get-go, we have a punch of sound and a punch of music. I've seen you live through the darkest of days. As I had mentioned back in my Big Big Train review, the sounds that they create are very warm. There's just something about the harmonization and the wholeness of the song that just creates a very warm atmosphere that you don't really feel a lot these days. And right from there we go to War Jazz, which is almost like a 360 in that sense, where A Messenger of All's Right was very soothing and very melodic and very harmonization focused. War Jazz is much more crazy. I love the drumming in War Jazz. I love that time signature that just keeps changing and keeps going all over the place. I need a space around me. My guts and the windows are clear for all warnings so I can go wild and all home together all alone. You know, it's odd that such a mellow band at times can bring such energy to their songs and it's really felt here in war jazz even though it's not quite that booming beat of like a metal song or that driving force from a lot of those power bands you have that energy behind it you have that energy really bringing the song forward and i love that and you really feel it in war jazz it's hard not to stand still whenever you're listening to this song Right from War Jazz, we come into that third song, and probably it's the longest song on this album, almost touching the 10 minute mark at about 9 minutes and 20 seconds or so, and that is the Empyrean View. And I love where this song goes, and I love the ending. It really brings all of those thoughts. It's a great summary of that song in summarizing all the ideas that they had for this. <laughs> drawback to this album is it does kind of wear thin a little bit near the end, especially with Once I Get Mine and The Sound of Bees. Even though these two songs near the end are good listens by themselves, when you listen to the album as a whole, I find my mind, again, start to wander. And this is, it's always kind of hard to keep the, the listener engaged throughout a longer album. If you don't have that kind of a hook song near this end part, you do kind of start to wander and the album does suffer for this, just a hair. Even though, as I said, Once I Get Mine and The Sound of Bees are very good songs on their own, within the whole construct of the album, it does feel a little bit thin, especially since Sound of Bees is such a quiet song. Again, great song, great presenting of music, and I love the harmonizations in this softer song. 
And I like that concept of like the bees, right? So when I'm listening to this sound of bees, I can very clearly picture these bees just kind of floating around in a meadow. And even with that, that vocalization of with their tiny little kisses, I can see that bee and I'm really entertained with that idea. But when I'm listening to the album as a whole, it does kind of wear a little bit thin. There's not quite that hook that I needed just to keep my attention going. But luckily, right from that, we go straight into the last two songs. And these are my two favorite pieces on the album. All this time we're given. It's a really great song to kind of bring the audience back, to bring the listener back into the album. And I love how this song has a really nice duality about it. It's very quiet in moments, and that lead singer is very good at carrying the emotion forward for the song. But right when we kind of get into that comfort zone of the song, it does punch us a little bit. It does have a little bit of that louder movement with the guitars, and that duality, that playing that they've got in there is a very good way of both putting us at ease and keeping us on the edge of the seat. So that was a very good job, at least with all this time we've been given. I really enjoy that song. But easily, my favorite track on this album is Vanishing Sun. This song really makes the album for me, and I'm glad it's at the end, because it gives me something to look forward to. I really don't like when an album plays all of its aces, all the great cards, right at the beginning of the album, and not saving anything for the end. You know, those those top heavy or those beginning heavy albums. Uh, once I get through those, you know, the star performers, I'm just kind of left there with, okay, well that's it, that's all that's left, right? Like, why do I even bother listening to the rest of the album? Luckily, this isn't the case with this album. They hold their star performer until the end, and Vanishing Sun is definitely, for me, the greatest track on this album. And mainly, it's just for that ebb and flow that Ichilin is so good at doing. Just with that outro guitar of just really hunkering down and presenting, okay, here is how we're going to finish this all off. And it presents you with those notes, and it presents you with that tone. Much like um, the Empyrean Views, where it summarizes what that song was all about, Vanishing Sun at the end with that outro of the guitars and the keyboards and that melody with all the singers, it really hammered everything home. It really kind of packaged everything up with a great bow. So Vanishing Sun does that great job of ending the album, and that's why it's really my favorite song on the entire album. So overall, I heard you listening is a really good treat. Even though it does suffer a little bit, the more you listen to it, the more you take out of it. And I've been listening to this now for almost a week and a half, and each listen, I'm getting something new. I'm getting something that I didn't hear the first time around, or the last time around. Overall, I definitely have to say you need to download this album and listen through headphones. It's really the only way to really enjoy this album. Especially if you are a fan of this band. If you're a fan of this band, I definitely know you're going to have a really good time with this album. And if you're not a fan of this band, check them out. They are a fantastic band for anybody, really. They're accessible enough that anybody off the street can at least enjoy the sounds, but they're experimental enough to keep you coming back for more. And that's about it. Have you heard this album? Let me know what you thought by commenting below. And that's about it for me. All right, notes out.